Hey guys, so with the holiday season in full swing and Christmas fast approaching, I thought I would take some time and show you guys my LEGO Winter Village display. So my Winter Village display has sets uh, going from Santa's Workshop in the back corner there, all the way up to the Elf Clubhouse, which was this year's Winter Village set, and I just thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the display. So starting in the front corner here, you can see we have the Elf Clubhouse, and there's an elf riding the sleigh out in front along with the Christmas tree with some toys around it. And on the inside, there are some elves just enjoying their time in the clubhouse. And moving right along this way, you can see we have the holiday train parked at the station. Uh, there is a woman buying tickets and a little girl getting some hot chocolate. And uh, I unfortunately, uh, I uh, motorized this train and I couldn't uh, get it to run properly with the uh, second car. So unfortunately, it's just the train and the caboose, um, but the other car is sitting here uh, parked alongside the track, so it is still part of the display, just unfortunately not part of the train. You can see there's a little mini train there, which I think was a freebie a few years ago. And then right here is a little Christmas market. You can see a bunch of kids running around there, a uh, little barista jang uh, taking a break. And then just more minifigures out enjoying the snow and fun. And then there's just a woman sleeping on a bench. And moving around this way, you can see we have the winter toy shop uh, from, this is the 2015 one. I don't have the original. And uh, this is actually the set that got me into Winter Village. Uh, so I have this set to thank for this display. And then in the back corner here, we have Santa's workshop. And uh, this is a great Winter Village set. You can see there's some uh, Star Wars holiday figures uh, chilling out in front. Mrs. Claus with some cookies. Uh, just some trees, a little reindeer R2, although I don't really know what he's up to back there. And inside the workshop, you can see that there are some elves uh, busy making toys. And then moving back into the center of the, the display, we have the big Christmas tree from the toy shop with tons of presents piled around. And then the fire truck just drove out of the fire station right there. And Django is putting a star atop the tree. And behind Django, there is a man putting together a bunch of snowmen. Well, I guess it's really just two snowmen, and we have two snow droids as well. And there is a little Christmas tree droid that I forgot to mention earlier, uh, right over there, chilling next to my sig fig on the bench. And then there is another Christmas tree right there, and yet another one in the back of the display behind the train tracks. And moving on to the fire station, you can see some people have come out to watch Django put the star on the tree. But on top of the fire station, we have Santa and his reindeer uh, flying through the sky, I guess doing just a bit of a practice run before they go out on Christmas Eve. And next to the fire station, we have the ice skating rink with a guy playing hockey by himself, along with some kids on skis and snowboards, and this guy is sitting on a bench. And then over here, we have the holiday bus, which is being attacked by a wampa. And then in the back, we have the gingerbread house, which is a very nice uh, winter village set. I just don't think that it fits quite well uh, with the other ones since it is uh, uh, inhabited by just a bunch of giant gingerbread people. But still a very nice set, so I decided to include it on the outside of the display. And as I was showing you around the display, you may have noticed uh, this wire going along the uh, outside of the display. And that is actually a bunch of lights, so let me go ahead and show you what this display looks like all lit up. Alright, so I've gone ahead and turned out the lights and turned on the lights. Uh, so you can see there is just a bunch of lights going around the outside of the Winter Village. And I really like the way that this looks. I've never included lights before and this looks great. Uh, there aren't any along the side where the bus is simply because uh, the lights weren't long enough to wrap completely around the table. But I still think that it looks very good. love having the display all lit up like this. And as I mentioned earlier, I did motorize the train so I can have it go around the Winter Village. And it is a bit loud, but I'm very happy to be able to have the train going around. Finally, after four years of owning the set, finally got around to motorizing it. And I absolutely love the way that this display looks with both the lights and the train. So that'll about do it for the Winter Village. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is the first time that I show, ever showed off my Winter Village setup, and I just figured that 2020 has been an absolutely crazy year, and then we could all use a little extra holiday cheer. So thank you all so much for watching. Bye.